Thank you, thank you. I want to thank everybody for coming out. We put on a good rally, even though we didn't get to put on the one that we had planned. The cops cut five hours total from our rally this uh, weekend. Twelve bands got a phone call that said they didn't get to play. You know, they planned on it. As Mass Can is an organization, that doesn't sit well with us. So we're gonna, you know, get ready. Get our fight, get our packets together. We're gonna have a two day rally next year. Yeah. We're gonna have 12 yeah. to 6 both days. Yeah. And we're gonna keep, you know, all that they did, all they did was take away the command and the control and the safety nets of every, of the York, of what's happening here today. We had hydration stations, we had uh, EMTs, we had security, we had everything under control. And all of you guys were being very peaceful and just enjoying the, the day. And then in the middle of it, they're going to come in, they're just going to ask that for no real reason whatsoever. And now it's really a free-for-all. But you know what? We know how to act. As, a, you know, as people smoking weed, we don't get overzealous. We don't get outrageous. We're here, and we're doing fine, right? Everybody's having a good Hell time. Yeah! Yeah! You know, so whatever. We don't need a permit because we know how to act. Yeah, you know, I'm from Boston. Right. I grew up in Quincy. You know, I grew up coming to this show with people like Mike Can here and people before me booking the show. And this is where I learned to be an activist. This is where I first learned that I can speak up for myself. And I can, you know, people within the organization made me feel like my voice actually meant something. And I realized that it did because it's not, it's just one person making noise in your circle, your circle of you know, your friends, your circle of your family, your co-workers, you know, you're changing minds when you speak your mind in those circles. You don't have to be up here on the podium. Change minds around you and come out and get involved and then expand your circle a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, get, then get on the podium. Your circle of influence gets bigger and bigger. You just got to volunteer and get active. Yeah. So, so my name's Chris. I'm from Quincy. I'm a local and I love this. I love this day. <laughs> Everybody enjoy. Be safe. Yeah. All right. Give it up once again for Chris from Mass yeah. We want to thank everybody who volunteers and organizations around the country. By the way, it's 4 o'clock, 20 minutes from 420, folks. Yeah. I hope everybody's ready out there. You know, coming up for you next, one, a, a guy I work with in Philadelphia. We go out to the Liberty Bell, right at Independence Ball National Historic Park, and we do what we do here today. We roll up and we smoke a joint at 4.20 p.m. But you know what they do to us? They arrest us and put us in the federal detention center. Oh, you know, I'll tell you what, it takes a lot in Philadelphia. You guys are lucky here in Boston, but you know what? It's a frontline fight around the country. I'm going to bring up comedian and activist N.A. Poe. Everybody give a warm welcome to N.A. Poe Philly. Hey, thank you. Screen. Like I said, my name is Poe. I represent a group of concerned citizens in Philadelphia called the Panic Hour. We do smoking uh, actions in Philadelphia once a month. A few months back, I was arrested very violently by the police and put into solitary confinement. It was really fucked up. It changed my life a little bit. And it's great to be able to come out and see everyone just hanging out in the hill. Half these people don't even give a shit. They're not even listening to this. And I, I can understand why, because it's just a free, wonderful day. And it's been a free, great two days. And I don't know if I can ever do this for more than two days, because I am fucked up, and I've been fucked up this whole entire week. <laughs> Finally, a, a slight laugh. And I just really, you know, it's fucking great. Like, we, if we did this any longer, like, it would just be... It would fucking, there'd be babies being born. <laughs> So, uh, for real, though, Boston, it's been fucking awesome. We feel kindred with you guys up here. Great activists, great people, and uh, we appreciate everything. Thanks so much. Hey, right. Bo, they have a show in Philadelphia called Federal Detention Center of the Musical. Check out an arrest in song, by the way. We're just about coming up on 420. Again, you, Boston, draw activists.